Welcome to the Moscone Cup and welcome to Las Vegas. This transatlantic tussle will decide which side of the pond is better at nine ball pool, Team USA or Team Europe. 12 of the world's top players ready to take part in the greatest nine ball team contest in the world. It's an event that kicked off in 1994 with an American win. The competition honoring pool legend Willie Moscone was off and running. In 1995, two of Britain's most charismatic snooker players, Jimmy White and Alex Higgins, led a late-night comeback to squeeze home and grab the trophy for the home side. <laughs> 1996 and the USA lined up their big guns to blow Europe out of the water, but it was oh so close. In the fourth showdown, Team USA outclassed Europe, cantering home with ease. <laughs> 1998 and the USA on a roll, making it three wins in a row. Come 1999 and Team USA strength in depth was just too much for the European squad. Welcome to the millennium and a new century, but it was the same old story, the stars and stripes on top. In 2001, with this rack-winning nine ball, the Kentucky Colonel put Team USA on the hill to lead 11-1. Team Europe had to win to stay alive. It was time for the great escape. Could the six Europeans surprise the Americans and get out of jail? But miracles only happen in fairy tales. Team USA sealing an amazing one-sided 12-1 win, the biggest in the event's history, a year that Europe's pool players will want to forget. After that humiliation, it's 2002. Oliver Ortman is back as Team Europe's captain. His task to raise morale and raise a team to take on the all-conquering Americans. His first recruit, Steve Davis. Oliver. Got a problem, Steve. The Americans have been seen in London again. The first one we saw was Earl, and the others soon followed. The Scorpion, Johnny Archer. Double J, Jeremy Jones. The Dragon, Charlie Williams. The Prince of Pool, Cory Doole. And the Kentucky Colonel, Nick Varmer. It's exactly the same outfit as last year. How can I help? I've been asked to put a team together to stop them. We've got a score to settle. So who have you got? The best in Europe. The Iceman, Mika Immonen. Oliver? The Kaiser, Ralph Sukai. Can I take your order, sir? Yeah, what is the suit of the day? Oliver? El Nino. Nick Vandenberg. Oliver? The Napoleon, Marcus Schermatt. Maxi! Oliver? Are you in? When do we start? We go now. But I need my cue. 
Don't worry, it's in the bag. Everything has been arranged. And the others? Let's go to work. You don't half sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Oliver. Both of these sides want to get off the mark early. And look at the sides they've put out. Spurred on by home fans, first blood in the Battle of Bethnal Green went to Europe. The tension tightening between the two teams. Nobody was really worried last night. I mean, we were joking and laughing last night. And we saw those guys, they were... Uh, they were cheering they and were drinking out, last night like they won a tournament already. And, uh, I don't think they need to be uh, celebrating about anything just yet. You know, we're still, we're still real confident about our team. So. Yeah, I mean, they lost seven Bascone Cups in a row. I mean, Probably the hardest match I've ever played mentally. I was uh, I wasn't giving up mentally. I uh, didn't look like Mika was going to miss a ball, but I just wanted to get an opportunity, and I didn't feel like I was going to miss a ball. I really woke up today feeling good, and, and I told my guys that I, and they wanted me to go second. I didn't mind it at all. About to be all over. Nick Vandenberg eyes the nine ball into the hole, and the Euros have won this match five to nothing. And in this transatlantic tussle, no one runs the gamut of emotions more than Earl the Pearl Strickland. This is for glory. As far as pool world, this, this is really the ultimate honor to play for the team. Uh, team Europe and, and for them I'm sure they're very honored to play for America and everybody talks about this tournament is the greatest tournament in the world. This is one tough shot Sid. Going right word. Earl has He's missed this shot. Oh my goodness! Three strokes away from the Moscone Cup. This crowd is just going crazy. And just like a French cancan, line of dancers, the Europeans are lining up for a victory dance. The travel for him should be very simple to the nine. He has a huge area he can leave this cue ball in. Folks, it's all over. Steve Davis brings the Moscone Cup home to the shores of Europe with the drop of this nine ball. Yes! Cherie! Bob Tag! President Bush! Are you watching in the White House? Are you watching on the West Coast and the East Coast? Are you watching in Manila and Brennan and the boys? Massive disappointment for the Americans after six victories in a row. Unbridled elation for the Europeans and sweet, sweet revenge after the previous year's humiliation. And now to receive the trophy, the captain, the machine, Oliver Oatman! In 2003, the new holders threw down the gauntlet in Team USA's backyard in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. Tough shot. An ominous sign for Team Europe. Nightmare in Las Vegas with Johnny Archer. Stand by Euro tonsils. He's got the one down. The nine off the break. Walked away from Napoleon to kick off. The Yanks will bring the house down here. Look at 
this. Look at this. Look at this. Steve Davis has decided to take this shot on himself. I don't understand that. Well, maybe I do. I look at maybe I do. Eminem delivers the final blow that gives Europe their first lead of the week. How is this all full of Europe, people? Has this got the next? Oh, what a shot! The Americans are just giving the Europeans a shellacking right now. He's made a good hit. Look at this! What a result from all! In 2004, the Moscone went to Holland for the first time, but the USA weren't going Dutch. They meant to keep the cup. It's going to be four days of gut-wrenching Moscone Cup action. The only thing going against Team Europe right now is history, folks. And what a start for Team Europe, a gut check win. And Team USA with a glorious opportunity. We've got a level game in the Moscone. One apiece. A one-sided victory over Team Europe. What a way to start out this year's event. Wow! Making a statement here in this first match. Team Europe riding a wave of enthusiasm now. The louder the crowd gets, the stronger Team Europe gets. What a shot! What a shot! Americans need to dig down and make a comeback here. They sent out the big guns. Absolute drama here. Yeah. He talks the talk, but he can walk the walk. Oh, baby, the pressure cooker has just been turned up a few degrees. Team America goes to bed tonight with a lead. Moscone Cup ever so close at the moment. Who said the Moscone Cup was ever going to be comfortable? Seven fold. The Americans now lead Europe in the Moscone. Disappointment. Rick launch on the lads in blue. It's in the bank now. It doesn't get a whole lot better. Day four of the 2004 Moscone Cup. Unbelievable tension, and it's mounting once again. The man from Sweden beefs up European team hopes. This will be sweet for all the lips. Thank you, Soch, for the boys in blue. The roadrunner. America retain the Moscone Cup. Now it's 2005. Welcome to the 12th. Moscone Cup, can Team USA make it 10 wins in 12 outings? Johnny Archer is the Team USA captain, 36, the Scorpions from Georgia, his ninth Moscone Cup appearance. Rodney Morris, age 34, the Rocket based in Florida. This is his third Moscone, he's only lost once in nine. Sean Putnam, age 34, Bubba hails from the great state of Ohio. He makes his debut in the competition. Jeremy Jones, double J from Texas, his sixth Moscone. He sank the winning nine ball last time we were in Vegas. 
Earl Strickland, age 44, the Pearl from North Carolina, his 10th appearance, the most of any on the American team. Charlie Williams, age 28, the Dragon is from Florida, and this is his fifth Moscone Cup. Mika Immanen captains Team Europe for the first time, just turned 33. The Iceman is Finnish, based in New York, his 10th Moscone, Europe's most experienced player. Marcus Sham at age 30, Napoleon, well, he's from Sweden, and this is his sixth Moscone. Raj Hundal, 24, the youngest player on either team. The Hitman is from London, England. He makes his Moscone debut. Thorsten Homan is 26, the German now based in Florida. He's making only his second appearance in the Moscone Cup. Niels Feyen, 28, the Terminator is from Holland and he's making his third appearance. Cool, calculating Alex Laley, age 32, the plague from The Hague, also from Holland. He made his debut six years ago. This is only his second appearance. Are you ready?